Hey everybody, Steve Zara from Zara Dental Lab, and this is video number 100. Everything about Ortho Lab A to Z. So, I asked a question on Instagram. I said, Ask me anything. And I had some really good questions. And in this video, I am going to go over those questions with a little in depth. I'm going to give some extra tips. I'm going to give you some little my inside trade secrets. So pay attention, you might learn something in this one. So thanks for watching. Always hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below. Let's get busy in this video now. And make sure that you watch the full video because there might be a little extra bonus in it for you. Just saying. The very first question is how much does a Holly retainer cost? and that cost is a huge range between around 50 to 100 dollars us that's the lab fee fees range from you know if you're adding colors and decals and stuff like that or just in what area of the country that you're in the fees are going to vary which pressure pot do you prefer to use this is the pressure pot that i use it's great lakes orthodontics it's got a heat element to it it's always at 165 degrees. It's got a little tray so I can put the models on. But I put, and you can feel the heat, the thermal heat coming off this thing. The heat's perfect in there. It cures really nice. What's nice about this little setup is I can put it on. Do it one hand once it's locked. I got everything all set up. Where are you? you can't see. Perfect. Away we go. The next question reads, are you single? No, I'm uh, happily married. Speak for yourself, big fella. I am single and ready to mingle. All right, for the record, nobody asked that question. Next question is, what would be your best investment in the lab? This is one of two of my prized possessions in the lab. Although this guy's pretty dirty, it just about does everything. I can't think of too many things it doesn't do in a lab. And this guy's also a fan favorite, the Dentorum Assistant 3000 Spot Welder. I've made a bunch of videos using this piece of equipment. In the upper right hand corner, I'll leave a card and you can see some. So how many hours do you work as an orthodontic lab technician? Well, the answer to that is quite a range. Typically, any time during the year, it's at least 50 hours minimum if you work for yourself. If you're like myself and you're self-employed and you're working in a lab, the average throughout the year is over 50 hours. There's no doubt about it. One time when I was a little guy and I wanted to start a lab, I was talking to my uncle who owns a lab and he said, do you like to work Saturdays? And I said, um, yeah, I guess. And he goes, well, if you own your own lab, almost count on working every Saturday. And that is very true. Now, coming into summertime hours, typical lab owner, a self-employed lab owner will work anywhere between 60 to 80 hours. Vacations, think of them as being work months. And I've also talked to other lab owners. One of them I was just talking to recently and he said that even his employees are working 20 plus overtime hours. So in ortho lab, we're busy. Next question is, do you ever get that dang white residue on acrylic 3D models, especially black ones? The answer is yes. And I believe that's something to do with the polymerization process. It's it's not the acrylic doing it, it's something to do with the residue coming from the models. It's not polymerized. I notice it happens sometimes when your 3D model is not cured 100%. I get that residue. Now, if you do have residue on your acrylic retainer from a 3D printed model or any retainer that you make, whether it's on a 3D model or an acrylic model, try this little, my, try this little trade secret of mine. and. Um, you're welcome. Use mineral oil on your retainers. A little splash of it. 
check this out. You got a retainer? You put a little dab of mineral oil on her. I'm going to show you the difference. I'll do one side and not the other. And you can do this side too if you want. Now gently wipe it off with a paper towel. And you can see how one side glistens and the other side's kind of dull. Same thing, here's the the mineral, oil, the mineral oil side. Now it's dry. And you compare the two. Also what it's really helpful in doing is it gives you the final the final check to look for any bumps that are in the acrylic that are gonna be pointing your finger. When I was doing this one, I felt a point right there. I'm gonna take care of that before I send it out. This will give you a really nice, uh, clean looking retainer. Hey man, are you liking the guy's tips so far? Why don't you leave my thumbs up? Next question. Do you like your job? Personally, I have the greatest job on this planet. That's my own personal opinion. Now, why is that? Because it's completely artistic and that's, I love to play instruments. I love to fiddle with my fingers. I love to do things. This is the career for you if you're interested. Is it hard work? Absolutely. Is it long hours? Absolutely. Is there great rewards in it if you work hard? Absolutely. I've never really met anyone who doesn't like orthodontics um, working in a lab. If you know somebody who's creative and artistic and are looking for a career path, this is the way to go. A lot of people don't know about it, but now that you've seen this video and if maybe you're interested in it, good for you. Um, on a side note, Jay Tyler from Tyler Orthodontics has made a full series of like how to get started in the ortho lab business. I would, I would definitely check out his videos and see if you're interested in them. Maybe if you're working for an orthodontist and you just want to learn how to mix some things or you um, want to start a full-time career, the best yet, you want to work for an orthodontic lab and get some experience before you go on your own. But these videos will give you that initial base. Um, check them out. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. It's um, Jay Teller and a little bit about Jay. When I was in high school, I was watching his videos and learning how to bend wire and learning how to make appliances from the very beginning. And that was my first introduction to orthodontics was watching his VHS videos. Now they've all been fully updated. Um, all the information is good. I've watched every single video. I would highly recommend that you check out his website. At the checkout, type in the promo code S-Z-A-R-A and you will get an extra 10% off. And to be 100% transparent, if you were to purchase, I will receive a small percentage of the sale. I have another question about soldering on a 3D model, the um, problems we had with that. If you remember recently, I made a video on how to solder on 3D models. There'll be a card right here in the corner if you haven't seen this video. But from what I've been doing now, I, the best technique I've, I've come up with is just, I've been using hydrocorloid to duplicate the models, which is so much cheaper than alginate. It gives a really, really, really good impression. And what's also cool about it is it's reusable, so I can just go over and over and over and over and use it. And it doesn't smell anymore like it did in the past. So I know that some people are worried about the smell of hydrocorloid and it doesn't have that weird smell, which is good news. 
Anyway, I'll show you a little bit of a clip that I made that'll show you what I'm doing. First, I duplicate the model and then I pour it up in stone. I make the appliance and in this example, I made a Hyrax. Then before I deliver the appliance on the 3D model, I actually cut out the teeth and I'll go ahead and reseat the new 3D, um, the new expander on the 3D model. So check out this video, I mean. First I go ahead and make the soldered appliance on a duplicated model that was duplicated in hydrocorylloid. And then when I do a final C, and then I'll prep my 3D printed model and make sure that my Hyrax will seat on it properly. And then it's ready to send out. Well, if you remember in the beginning of this video, I told you guys I would have a bonus for you. Here's the bonus. Well, for my most loyal fans who watched the video all the way through, go ahead and leave a comment with the best part about what you liked about this video. And the first five of you cats who leave a message are going to be entered in my raffle. And I'm going to have a little bit of a giveaway for you. So good luck.